welcome to Mint. I'm Kirti Rao. In this edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Asit Ranjan Mishra. We also have with us Dr. Bhanu Murthy of the NIPFP on phone with us. Welcome to the show, Dr. Bhanu Murthy. Yeah. Uh, we are here to discuss the possible reduction in the growth estimate for the 12th plan. Uh, my first question is to you, Asit. So, what, is, what are the reasons that the Planning Commission has given for this reduction in the growth estimate over the next five years? See, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Finance Ministry uh, started the year by projecting a growth rate of 7.6% for the current year. And now it turns out that uh, the growth will be uh, below 6.5%. Even some are saying it will be below 6%. And this is the first year of the five-year plan. So, and uh, you know uh, the uh, current uh, global economic scenario when the Eurozone uh, is uh, in uh, the uncertain zone, uh, I mean the uncertainty continues in the Eurozone and the U uh, US is not recovering as expected. So, uh, this is expected to uh, continue to have an impact on India's uh, growth story. And then the uh, investment uh, scenario in India is also not improving uh, as expected and there is policy paralysis as everybody talks about. So all these things will obviously have an impact uh, on the growth uh, story of India for in the medium term at least. So obviously that's the reason uh, why Planning Commission thinks 9% uh, is not achievable uh, in the current uh, plan period and uh, it will be somewhere near to 8%. Uh, Dr. Bhanu Murthy, could you, what according to you are the reasons for this uh, possible revision in the growth estimate? Yeah, I think first of all, one needs to clear, make it very clear. The Planning Commission never estimates the pork, uh, GDP numbers, but they basically they are the targets for the plan period. And if we have seen for the past two plans, most of the times, at least if you see, um, the actual numbers are much lower than what uh, they already they they uh, targeted. Uh, in that sense, nine percent growth was a target. Um, uh, for the planning commission and they do back calculation in terms of what exactly you need to really achieve 9% growth uh, and uh, in the last year when they made 9% growth as a target uh, the assumption was that you need to have a substantial rise in the investments uh, largely into the infrastructure sector but um, since then if you have seen the developments both in the domestic as well as in the international markets um, and there is overall uh, uh, negative uh, uh, perception about um, you know uh, recovery in the international financial international economy, um, and uh, there is a general agreement that the worst of the crisis is still not over. Uh, in a sense that uh, at least next two years, you are not going to see any kind of a substantial recovery in the international market. Mm. But based on all these things. Um, uh, it's very clear that the private investments are, uh, even government investments, are not expected to uh, revive in the next two years, which is very crucial for achieving 9% growth. So basically what the Planning Commission has done is that they realize the investments will not be um, able to happen as much as it is expected. And that's one of the reasons they are trying to revise downwards their target numbers. These are not estimates, but they are target numbers. Um, Asit, coming back to you, do you think that uh, deficit reduction, which is very important, do you think that point will be driven home by this reduction in the growth targets, as Dr. Banamurthy said? Yeah. Uh, irrespective of uh, what uh, Planning Commission says uh, uh, and this uh, revision in target, I mean, uh, the point that uh, the government has to reduce uh, uh, its fiscal uh, deficit uh, is well taken. I mean, this is also well understood within the government. But the point is whether they can do it. Even the RBI uh, yesterday in its policy has clearly said that the government need to bring down the fiscal deficit. And uh, so b basically the point is whether the government has the political will and whether it can, it can maneuver the uh, consensus in the current scenario uh, to go for a um, diesel price hike. So it has to be seen whether the um, government can do that. Uh, Dr. Bhanumurthy, could you also uh, tell us if this change in growth targets would uh, affect the sectoral focus of the 12th plan? Well, I think um, I don't expect that there will be any change in the sectoral focus. But what uh, it makes it very clear that the Planning Commission doesn't have much ammunition to really 
do whatever they plan to do in the next five years. I mean, the classic case is one trillion uh, dollar investments in infrastructure. You know, that is not going to happen very clearly. Uh, there may be something else happening at the um, developmental expenditure, but even that, I think there is some kind of constraint um, uh, because the developmental expenditure has to be provided by the budget, um, which at the moment um, it is not very clear that uh, the finance ministry is going to allocate uh, whatever the planning commission is requiring for um, achieving their developmental targets. Uh, but I'm just trying to link uh, the other important issue here, if you permit me, uh, is about the current account deficit. I think fiscal deficit alone is not um, a concern. It is actually both the twin deficit, that is fiscal and uh, current account deficit, which is actually uh, making the planning commission to bring down the growth okay. targets. So basically, it's the twin deficits that uh, are pushing the planning commission to possibly revise its growth targets downwards. Uh, thank you for your insights, Dr. Bhanumurthy. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Asit. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.